Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today we are going to solve chapter 14 from class 5 science book CBSC board force, energy and simple missions. So we will solve the exercise question answers and also solve the inside question answers from this chapter. Before we start requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get further notifications from the channel on the right time. If you have missed any video, then please check out the description box or playlist. You will find all the videos from there. And if you have any queries, then please let me know in the comment box. Let's start. Chapter 14 from Class 5 Science Book, Force, Energy and Simple Machines. At first, we have the exercise question answers. Number 1, name the type of forces in the following situations. Number A. Opening a door by pulling it with hands, muscular force. Number B, a leaf falling from the tree, gravitational force. Number C, an iron nail attracted towards a magnet, magnetic force. Number D, a piece of rubber released by a caterpillar, elastic force. Number 2, give an example, wedge an X. Pule, well, lever, hammer. In slant plane, seesaw, wheel and excel, bicycle, paddle. Now, we will start the exercise part. Number A, fill in the blanks. Number 1, a nutcracker is an example of class 2 lever. Number 2, energy is the ability of a body to do work. Number 3, a force can move a stationary object. Number 4, inclined planes called rams which are provided in all hospitals. Number 5, a moving vehicle has mechanical energy due to its motion. Next, match the following. Number 1, solar energy matched with solar cooker. Number 2, wind energy matched with turbine. Number 3, screw matched with a nail having grooves. El uh, elastic matched with stretched string of a bow. Mechanical force, forced ex uh, force exerted by a machine. Next C, choose the correct answer. Number 1, a weight lifter uses muscular force to lift heavy weights. Number 2, and class 2. Sorry, in class 2 levers, the load lies between fulcrum and A4. Number 3, X is an example of wedge. Number 4, we are able to work on floor with the help of gravitational force. Now, we have some question answers from the chapter. Why do wheels on skates not have grooves? Wheels on skates don't have grooves because on prepared surface, they increase friction and reduce rolling speed. Number two, how is a pair of scissors similar to tradition, traditional seesaw? Pair of scissors and traditional seesaw both are the example of first class lever where fulcrum is located between the effect and load. Number three, name the different class of levers. Give examples of each class one lever, hammer, beam balance, peeler, etc. Sorry, pliers, etc. Number class 2 lever nutcrackers, wheelbarrow, stapler, etc. Class 3 lever fishing rod, tweezers, tongs, etc. Number 4. What is a pulley? Name its different types. A pulley has a grooved wheel and rope. The groove is present around the rim of the wheel. The groove keeps the rope in its place. The object to be lifted is tied to an end of the rope. Force is applied to the other and by pulling it, when the rope is pulled downwards, the load is lifted upwards. There are two types of pulley, fixed pulley and movable pulley. Number 5. List two uses of an inclined plane. It helps to move the heavy objects from heavier to lower and vice versa. It is used to carry wheelchairs and stretchers in hospital. Number 6. Define force. Force is the push or pull applied on an object number seven how can we move an iron screw without touching it by magnetic force we can move an iron screw without touching it number eight what is potential energy a stretched bow possesses 
energy due to its stretched position this is known as potential energy now we have the question answers which have to be answered in detail number 1 differentiate between class 1 and class 2 levers 1 a lever in which the fulcrum is between the load and the effort is called a class 1 lever here uh, number 1 a lever in which the load lies between the fulcrum and the effort is called a class 2 lever in class 1 lever examples are hammer pliers beam balance etc class 2 lever examples are nut crackers wheel barrow stepper etc okay next one how are inclined planes helpful to us an inclined inclined plane helps to move the heavy objects from higher to lower surfaces and vice versa number 3 why is stapler a class 2 lever in a stapler the load lies between the fulcrum and the effort so it is a class 2 lever number 4 explain the wheel and axle arrangements a wheel and axle consists of a large wheel which is connected to a small cylindrical rod called axle these two are at the center so that they move together there may be two wheels joined to the axle at opposite ends when the axle is turned the wheel also moves next number 5 state the advantages of friction friction helps us to walk if there was no friction then we would sleep if we try to walk without friction we would not be able to hold anything in our hand it is the friction between a pencil and a paper that allows us to write on the paper when the brakes of a vehicle are applied it is the friction that helps the moving vehicles to stop the tires of a car in bracket or any other vehicles would just keep spinning if there was no friction between the tires and the road and the road number 6 screw is better than a nail to bind objects made of wood screw is used to hold things together a screw has grooves cut into it the heat the head of the screw also has a groove the screw driver is fixed into the into this groove and rotated due to uh, due to spiral grooves the screw moves into the wood easily so a screw holds the wood more firmly than a nail number 7 what will happen if the slope of the inclined plane is too steep if the slope of the inclined plane is too steep that it will be tough to move the objects from lower to higher number 8 with the help of example explain the effects of force it can move a stationary object when we push or pull a toy car on the floor it starts moving it can slow down or stop a moving object when we put our hand in front of the moving toy car it stops it can change the shape of an object when we squeeze the toothpaste tube the shape of the tube changes it can change the direction of a moving thing when we hit a ball coming towards us with our bat the direction of the ball changes so now we have some extra question answers that means insert question answers from the chapter before we start requesting you to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get further notifications from the channel on the right time now we have some extra question answers number 1 what is mechanical force the force exerted by a machine is called mechanical force number 2 name some mechanical force some mechanical force are muscular force elastic force gravitational force frictional force magnetic force electro uh, electrostatic force number 3 what is muscular force the force exerted by the action of muscle is called muscular force number 4 in which works muscular force help to do we use muscular force to push or pull and to perform almost all our activities while pulling a cord or the string of a bow we use muscular force which is generated by the action of our muscle number 5 what is elasticity the ability of a material to return to its original shape after being stretched or compressed is called elasticity number 6 what is elastic force when an elastic material is stretched or compressed it exerts elastic force 
नंबर सेवन वाट इज ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स द आर्ट पुल्स ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स टूअर्ड्स इट सेल्फ विद अ फोर्स नोन एज ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स वाट इज फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स द फोर्स दैट कॉजेज मूविंग थिंग्स टू स्लो डाउन एंड स्टॉप इज कॉल्ड फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स और फ्रिक्शन नंबर नाइन राइट द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ फ्रैक्शन सॉरी फ्रिक्शन द हीट प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द मूविंग पार्ट्स ऑफ अ मशीन मे कॉज हर्म टू द मशीन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट फ्रिक्शन मेक्स इट डिफिकल्ट टू मूव हेवी थिंग्स अक्रॉस द फ्लोर लास्ट पॉइंट फ्रिक्शन कॉजेज द सोल्स ऑफ शूज द सर्फेस ऑफ द टायर्स एंड द मूविंग पार्ट्स ऑफ मशीन टू वेयर आउट नेक्स्ट नंबर टेन What are magnetic material? The materials that get attracted to a magnet are called magnetic materials. Number eleven. What is magnetic force? The force exerted by a magnet is called magnetic force. Number twelve. What happens when you rub your palm together? When you rub your palms together on a winter morning, the friction caused by the rubbing of palms warms them up. Thus, as a result of friction, heat is produced. Number thirteen. Give an example of elect um, electrostatic force. Sh uh, shred a paper into tiny pieces. If we we'll take a comb and rub it with a dry hair and bring the comb closer to the pieces of paper, they get attracted and stick to the comb. This happens due to electrostatic. uh electrostatic for uh, force number 14 name different kinds of energy different kinds of energy are light energy heat energy sound energy electrical energy mechanical energy solar energy hydro energy and wind energy which objects produce energy the sun a burning candle a light bulb produce energy how does light energy help us light energy help us to helps us to see name a natural source of energy that gives us both heat and light sun number 18 name some objects which produce sound energy many objects such as musical instruments firecrackers and aeroplane produce sound energy number 19 how is sound energy produced sound energy is produced when an object vibrates number 20 for which purpose is electrical energy used we use electrical energy to run electrical appliances such as bulb tube light fan road radio television computer and refrigerator number 21 what is kinetic energy mechanical energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its motion or position a moving vehicle has mechanical energy due to its motion this type of mechanical energy is called kinetic energy number 22 this has already been done so we move to the next question number 23 what is solar energy the energy of the sun is known as solar energy number 24 how do we use solar energy we use solar energy to heat water cook food and generate electricity number 25 what is hydro energy the energy of the fast moving water is known as hydro energy number 26 what is hydro electric energy the energy of moving water is used to produce el electricity it is called hydro electric energy number 27 name name are renewable non polluting source of energy hydro energy number 28 name the largest producer of hydro electricity china number 29 what is fulcrum fulcrum is a fixed point about which the rod moves number 31 what is who was archimedes he was a greek scientist and the first person who invented a pulley it is said that he used the pulley to drag a ship out of the ocean last question number 31 how did ancient egyptians use inclined planes in ancient egyptians used to take help of inclined planes to move heavy construction blocks for making the pyramids so all done from the chapter 14 force energy and simple machines so like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get further notifications from the channel on the right time If you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have missed any video 
and please check out the description box or playlist you will find all the videos from there that's all for today see you soon with a new video till then take care and bye